So Monday morning, and I'm hoping this Monday goes a little bit better for me than the last Monday. Um, so I am at a job that I've not been to since, uh, let's think, might be before Christmas. I'm not sure if I've been here at all since since Christmas. Um, I have shown you some of this property before. I think I cut one bush um, and I think I filmed it for you. Uh, this place I've been coming to since last summertime and last year I was doing three hours for them. This year they'd like me to do four hours for them. There's quite a lot of grass to cut. They do have a ride on mower that I use but um, it's not brilliant. It's not a great um, it's not a great mower. I've had a little look around, everything looks good. I am now going to get my saw. I um, haven't got the pruner yet, it would have been a good day for the pruner. But I'm going to get saw, loppers, a few bits and pieces and then I'm going to go down. There's a few trees that I just want to take a few ha low hanging branches off of. Um, this place is pretty nice to work in, it's a nice office for, for a Monday morning. So until I get my finger out and buy myself a pruner for the steel combi tool, this is what I use normally to clear branches from uh, out of the way of mowing. So the loppers here that I'm using, I'll just use those to clear any of the thinner branches, make myself a little bit of space. Anything any thicker, I will then resort to the to um, this saw here. This is a wolf garden saw which clips on the end of my pole here quite nicely. I wouldn't really want to tackle anything too much thicker than this. Um, even little branches like this get me puffing a little bit. So I'm looking forward to getting the combi attachment. Hopefully um, save me a bit of puff and um, get me through the thicker jobs a bit easier. I've got one of these trees done now. And um, I'm going to move on to another one over this side that's got a load of low hanging branches. I was hoping to do a little bit of mowing today but the ground is really, really wet. It's soggy as can be. Um, it is slowly drying up but it's it's fairly mucky so hopefully uh, it will dry up and I can do something a little while. So yeah, I've done this one. I'm not a tree man so I've just really, you know, the customers wanted me to get the low hanging branches out of the way. And I'm going to move over to that one over there, do the same. So these trees are all done. As I said before, I'm not a tree guy. I don't really do a lot of tree work. Not really great with heights, so I tend not to climb up anything. As long as I can get it from the ground, I will just saw it off. So apologies if I haven't done this correctly, but um, it suits me and the customers are happy with it. So I'm all done here, and I'm off to now to do a little bit on the rose job. Um, I picked up two jobs last week, and I so they're both very... Um, the, the first one I picked up is very local to one I do on Friday, so I have a weekly Friday job I do. And um, while I was working there, I had a phone call. Um, lady was trying to explain where she lived and I said I actually think I can see your house from where I'm working at the minute and it's literally like four doors down um, not a massive big garden she just wants a couple of hours every fortnight um, so that will work in really well with the job I do on the Friday morning um, the other job I picked up was the, um, the, the the weeding job I've been doing through the winter time that guy there now wants me to go to him whenever I want to. He, he said to me, the, the beauty of that job is, is he said to me he doesn't want anything regular. He says if you want to come in once a fortnight, come in once a fortnight. He said if you're coming in once a month, he said just come in once a month. He said just come in occasionally, keep on top of things for us, you know, use him as a stopgap. Um, and he said, you know, let just I'll let him know at the end of the month how many visits I've done and he'll pay me. So it's, um, that's a real nice one. Um, and I say this, just nice now and local, all my jobs are in a nice local area, don't have to drive off too far to go anywhere. Um, I really want to get the rose job done, probably won't get it all done today, but I'll probably get it done in the next visit, that can be knocked on the head. Um, most of my regular customers now have all had a phone call, um, they're all happy where they are in the routine. It's always difficult trying to fit people into the routine where they go, because I do have a couple of them. Most of them are pretty good, most of them are real good, but I do have a couple of them that I can't go there too early in the morning, I can't go there on that day, I can't go there too late in the afternoon, you know, you think you've got to find, you can't come at lunch time, you know, that sort of, that sort of rubbish, you know, um, I don't have many like that, probably two, two of them. Um, a lot of people I work for, they're just quite happy for me to get on, say, 
they don't need to be there holding my hand all the time um, so no it's all getting really busy uh, looking good and I say this weather look at it out there if you can see that that definitely helps doesn't it definitely helps in the morning get yourself up and uh, get going anyway I'm gonna drive now to the rose job and hopefully get that near enough done Tuesday morning now this is our second job of the day I'm with dad this morning and we've shown you this lawn a few times now this is the first cut on this lawn for this year the biggest question I ever get asked on this lawn whether I take a picture of it for Instagram or any comments I get is why the heck am I cutting a lawn like this big without a ride on mower um, other comments I get is um, why how long does it take to cut with this um, we push along mowers so me and dad always cut this one together it's not a very fun place to cut on your own it does take quite a lot of time have we have both done it on our own as well which is um, a bit soul destroying so when we come in a job like this it's normally both of us we're both using exactly the same mower 21 inch mowers everything you see us cutting here is all mulched even though I do have my bag on it is really just for show um, nothing has been collected here so there's no emptying of the bags me and Dad have been in and out of here before, within an hour and a half. Um, I do think it normally takes us between an hour and a half and two and a half hours. So when it's really, really long, probably two and a half hours. But normally, this place, two hours, we are in and out onto the next job. And so it's not too hard for us. You know, we've we don't have ride on mowers. This place is not equipped with a, a ride on mower that we can borrow. The price is pretty good, so we're more than happy to come in for an hour and a half. There's no strimming involved. All it is is straightforward mowing. We turn up, mowers are out of the van, and we're straight into mowing. Last year when we were cutting this lawn we always seemed to struggle a little bit with the mulch inside of it. Only reason being is we used to turn up here first thing on a Tuesday morning, probably about 8 o'clock and it was still very very dewy on the ground, it was very very damp. So this year I've managed to persuade Dad to change the time here. We're now going to come in at about half 10 where hopefully it will be a little bit drier. So we have a little job of mine to go to first thing in the morning. And then we go from my job to this place. And I say, hopefully, leaving it that extra you know, couple of hours will give it enough time to dry out a little bit so we don't have to spend too much time bagging anything. So last year was a little bit too long of having to bag it all just because it was so damp. I'd rather come in a little bit later on in the, after, in the morning, being a little bit drier. We can mulch it down, no trouble. And I say, it probably knocks about half an hour off the time. This little section that me and dad are doing here is the worst section out of the whole lot of this lawn. Um, just behind those bushes in front of us there is sort of a natural, I think it's a natural pond. And um, this little section here always gets really, really boggy and it also grows like mad. So in fact, me and dad have actually raised the mowers up a little bit here, only just to save ourselves a little bit, just because it gets so, so long. Um, apart from that, everywhere else is fairly straightforward just a lot of moss this time of year um, also where the mole's been in made a lot of divots everywhere got to be careful watching all watching all the time for any rocks popping out
So I'm on the way now to another first cut of the year. Uh, this job I'm on the way to now is a little block of flats that I picked up um, last year. Quite a simple job, it's just lawns, a little bit of lawns. Um, the main reason they wanted me to come in was for the hedges. It's all surrounded by hedges, there's a couple of little bushes in between as well that need, that need keeping on top of. Um, Maintenance wise, there's not a massive lot to do. I do occasionally pop around with weed killer and um, to spray some of the drives off. But really, it's a nice little fill-in job. It's just two um, two visits a month that I do there. It's not really uh, that time consuming. I could probably be in and out of here within about an hour. The only problem I did have down here once is uh, one of the tenants here have has a dog and. Um, they weren't picking up any of the dog mess, so I have had to put a message through just to say, you know, I'll let them know when I'm coming, but once I've let them know I'm coming, hopefully they can clean up some of the dog mess themselves. So I'm not, um, I'll say, because I only come twice a month, uh, some of the times I do come down here, the grass is fairly long, and I don't always get to see the, the dog mess until it's too late. It's not one of my favourite things to do is clear up someone else's dog mess. So, um, no, I had to drop a message into them to say, look, can you keep on top of the dog muck for me? And uh, say, the guy I talked to is brilliant. He's um, He gets it all sorted for me. So I'm hoping, say, first visit down there this week uh, for the year, first visit in the year, and hopefully everything's looking fairly manageable. When I picked this job up last year, it, um, it hadn't been mown since August so I think their last mow was August so when I got here last year everything was fairly fairly long the grass was really long I think I started in May um, and so the grass was long it was the hedges were all long uh, now I'm on top of everything they had a fairly late mow I think their last mow was in November so I'm hoping everything's looking fairly tidy so this is the flat job I've been talking about and the only thing they wanted me to do here was two visits a month grass hedges bushes anything like that um, the only stipulation they asked is if I could obviously make one of the visits early on in the month and one of the visits later on in the month which is fine that's obvious to me so all these little bushes there you can see in the background when I first took this job on were really overgrown I mean they hadn't been cut for probably a year and the lawn itself was um, was really overgrown as well. That was probably sort of in places nearly two foot high. A uh, lot of dog mess everywhere. I have managed to um, tell the customers now, and I didn't find a single piece of dog mess today, which was brilliant. Um, and I say, it's a nice little job to fill in with. There's no set time I need to be here by. It's just a case of make sure at the end of the month it's all looking nice and tidy, and I'm happy with that. Before I started mowing here, I have actually gone round for about uh, 20 minutes with the strimmer. Um, there's a big section here, as you're looking at me now, on the left-hand side, which I don't really get the mower on. It's very, very lumpy. There's a big tree root in there as well. So what I've actually done was strim that whole section there, um, all around the front here as well. I've gone round and strimmed everything all underneath this fence. Unfortunately, all around this fence line. The guy who came in and done, whoever came in and done the fence never really tidied up all that much after himself and all around the fence line is lots and lots of little rocks so I've always got to be careful um, when, I'm, when I'm mowing or streaming around there because a lot of different cars, lots of windows in this little area here I don't really want to be smashing anything but it's all part of the job isn't it you know we, we're all um, insured and we're, this is what we do don't want to smash anything but if we do we, uh, we can hopefully be covered for it This is one of the only jobs I actually have where I have to take away the garden waste. So that's one of the reasons I'm using the mulching mower on this job. Um, I would like to stripe this lawn up for the customers, but I know if they do see the stripes, they will want the stripes all the time. So I've never actually taken the roller mower to this job. It's always been mulched. I don't think I've ever had to take a bag of grass away from this job. Um, and actually because I'm mulching it, I'd actually, this section at the front here, 
I normally just double cut it. I go over it a couple of times, make sure it smolts right down. Um, especially the last year, because every time I was turning up, the grass was extremely long um, every single time. So I was really just double cutting this section here. So I don't really want to be taking too much waste away. I have to take a fair amount away when I cut the hedges and that sort of thing. So it's not my favourite thing to do is take garden waste away, but um, this was one of the places I, I couldn't really get away with it. So this one's near enough done. I just wanted to show you a little bit of a different garden for a change and you'll probably see a bit more of this one in the future. Just want to give you a bit of a snippet of it. So that job is all finished off. Um, nice to get back there. Nothing too mad. It, uh, there was no dog poo around anywhere so they've obviously tidied that bit up. Um, nice to get on the grass there while it's reasonably short last year I was struggling to get on top of that place because the grass is always always so long I never um, sort of truly felt like I was getting on top of it the, the only problem with that place is there is nowhere for me to go to the toilet and I am absolutely bursting at the minute to go so I am now rushing home to use the toilet anyway guys I'll catch up with you tomorrow <laughs>